Okay. Okay. Anybody there? Hey there. Is that Jay? Lance. It's Jay, yeah. Hi. I, Hi, I, Lance. See, I, see, I see Jay. I don't see anyone else. I see Rebecca. I saw Bill Sam's name. Yeah, yeah. Well, there he is. Very good. Oh, I see Rebecca. Hi, Rebecca. Okay, we're coming in. Hi, Rebecca. Ooh. What do you have there, Rebecca? I'm in the museum. I'm freezing. Oh. <laughs> there you go. There's Corey. <laughs> Hi, Lance. Hi there. Hi, Bill. Hi, Jay. Corey. What's going on? Well, I mean, Rebecca, what's going on? Why is why are you in the ha in the museum part freezing? Is it that turned down that low, or is there a problem with the fur? No, it's just it's quiet from away from the kids. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that's, that's good. We keep it really low in here to save on the oil. Yeah, makes sense. As long as you don't get below freezing. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Your house Doug, is low in that. It is Missy. I see Missy now. Missy. Looks like Papa Vinny is still connecting. Um... <clears throat> mm. Hey, hey, Vin, are you there? I saw that he was trying to connect, but I don't see Vin's picture. Huh. There he is. There he is. There he is. Then it looks like you don't have a microphone connected. Oh, oh no, Ben's picture disappeared. Yeah. Hmm. <clears throat> Hey, Vin, are you there? 
it doesn't say connecting. So I yeah, don't know. I was, so there's no, uh, if you click on the participants, it lists yeah. him. Yeah. But it doesn't show a microphone, which means he has, he has no audio. Oh, shucks. Huh. So I'm thinking he probably can't hear us either. Although yeah, sure. probably not. He didn't say anything. Whoops. Oh, there's Vin. Hey, Vin, can you hear us? Vin. Are, are you connected to sound? Vin, can you see the logo in the lower left for the picture of the microphone? Does it have a red line through it? He's connecting. Can you hear me? Yeah, oh yeah, good. Okay, you're connected. That's great. It took me a while to find the right uh, thing to uh, Hit. <laughs> okay. Hi, Ants. Hi there. Uh, who, uh, who else do we have on? Okay. Jay's on. Jack. Hi, Ben. Missy is on. How about Doug? Hi. He's on the phone. Oh, Doug's I'm on. on. The phone. Okay, good. I think Lance, Lance is on. Okay, so um, call to or call to order in the roll call. So it's me, Missy, Doug, Jay, and Lance. Yep. Okay? okay. So we've got one, two, three, four, five. And uh, Lance shall be a, a voting member for this this meeting. Okay. 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 All right. Okay. Who else did I see on? I think Bill. Yep. Hi, Ben. Hey, how you doing? Good. How are you guys? Good. Good to see you. Are Are you? You're still. In transition, is there a, uh, we have a new liaison, is that correct? I don't think so. You're stuck with me. <laughs> no, we, we, lo we love you. That's the, I thought I saw, a, a, um, well, uh, maybe. Oh, a, no, look, I'll check. I'm, I'm... I thought I saw something that uh, there was a change in our liaison, but if not, that's good. <laughs> That's good. Uh, okay. I'm here too, Vin. <laughs> oh, Rebecca. <laughs> Thanks. Good, 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 good to see you. All right. <clears throat> First item on the agenda is uh, review and approval of the minutes from our last meeting. Does Anyone have uh, any additions, corrections, modifications that they'd like to propose? No. I was there. Mm, no. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, you, you, you were there. I should, should prob probably note that. All right, well, hearing hearing none other than I will call for a vote to accept the uh, minutes. Uh, uh, I make a motion that we accept the minutes, Jay Peeler. Okay, we have a second. I'll second, this is Doug. It's Doug, seconding. Okay, all in favor, say aye. aye. Uh, aye. Aye. Okay. Any opposed? Okay. So the minutes are accepted unanimously. All right. Now, let me. Oh, I, I should have mentioned that um, Bill, uh, Bill, Bill Barnes is on travel and is uh, 
is excused excused from the meeting. Um, and I don't have a report from him, but I do know that uh, on the the grant that we receive, the twenty thousand dollar grant to do, you know, an assessment of the, of the mill by an architectural engineering firm. That uh, he has prepared a uh, RFP that uh, will we'll, uh, I just got that uh, yesterday, and after after I review it and Alan uh, reviews it. Uh, I have to check with the town uh, town hall. Maybe maybe Bill Bill knows whether or not we need some someone. You know, in the in, in the <laughs> office there to to look at this before before we uh, send it out for bid. Um, the first the first thing we 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 would do is send it to. Um, uh, the uh, person in charge of these grants and uh, Mary Dunn is her name and she offered to take a look at it before we publish it you know just to make sure that as far as the state is concerned we've you know it's it meets their their standards and it should because she sent us a uh, a sample of, of one that they've had and and it looks like bill has pretty much followed 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 that it has all the you know legalese kind of uh, words in in there that uh, we normally wouldn't think to put in but of course the state <laughs> the, the state does so, so I, I would i would send it to uh, the finance director finn because they they do have a process for uh, so, uh, soliciting bids. Okay. And, All right. Um, it, it's a good idea to send. So we have a new finance director. Marsha is retired, and the new finance director's name is Matt Bonin. But if you just send it to Marsha's email, it'll now go to him. Okay. All right. Um, I will, I'd send I will, a copy to Roxanne too. Yeah, we can. We can all of us be reviewing it at, you know, in parallel. Yeah. So we can then, you know, make <laughs> any changes and we can get it, uh, get it back sure. to Murray. All right. Thank you. Sure. Uh, other, other than that, I'm, I'm not sure if there's any, anything else. Uh, for for the sawmill, I know, I know the uh, the guys. You know the group there is continuing to have work work sessions and and accomplish things, weather permitting and so forth. So the, their their activities go on throughout throughout the throughout the year. Okay, um, the Lester House. Our, our committee met uh, last week and decided that we we will hold our old fashioned fourth uh, this year on on the fourth, which is which is a Monday. But of course, that's you know assuming that we're we're in a condition with regard to. COVID and whatever else <laughs> might might happen to to hold su such such an event. Uh, the thing that's working in our favor here is that a lot of the activities, most of them would be outdoors. So that's, uh, you know, that's a plus. Uh, the Historical Society will be assisting us and help, helping us, but we'll have the lead they're, they're, they're just not in a situation um, to, to, to furnish, you know, take the lead and, and do the heavy lifting as far as this event is concerned. <coughs> but 
but we've already uh, got got some assignments and mem members of the committee plus plus Kit Foster are are looking into some uh, vendors, uh, artisans, and things that that we already have sort of in mind to be part of the the event. Um, Jay or Doug, um, Missy, Rebecca, anything else you want to add to that? Okay. The leaky pipes we had in the basement were fixed by Pro Plumbing. He had to come back twice, but he finally got it, got it done. And the cost was about $300. We issued a PO to Hespilar electrical contractor for uh, $1,200 to install two uh, fan heater units in the, the two bathrooms, the one in the quarters and one in the museum. We don't turn those on. <laughs> I think Rebecca has the switches tape because when you turn them on, they spark, and we don't think that's that's such a great uh, great thing. Uh, the PO is out, and the electrician that we've used, John Aspilar, who's, who's very very good, but he contracted COVID over the holidays, so he he was sort of laid up for a while, but. Sounds like he's back in the swing of it, so we should get that done fairly soon. Um, he was yeah. here today. John Hescoblar he, was here today. He was okay. Excellent. <laughs> Excellent. That's good. Good to hear. Is he? Does he look like he's recovered? He looked very tired, um, yeah. and he did look at some of those other projects while he was here too. The light okay. over the kitchen sink and then he looked up and saw that there's no light fixtures in our kitchen <laughs> so oh yeah like, oh it's yeah, got a fixture some cheap yeah. ones um so yeah Definitely. so he did come today and look at that and the broken light outside he looked at while he was here okay okay good okay we we need to uh, need to get a, a carpenter in to to look at several several things that need need fixing basically the the doors two doors and the barn and the carpenter shed are in the in need of repair they're kind of falling apart and the stairs in the cellar are shaky at at best so we'll have to have to have those looked at and probably uh reinforced in some way um the uh, the the rail and the fence in front of the house that the ends were rotted. I managed to uh, cut them off and uh, put a put a new piece on the end, so it's it's in good shape. I also gave it a prime coat of paint, so it's ready to go up. So it. We just have to have to install it. It's not a big deal, but I've been sort of waiting for a day when it's the sun's out and it's it's not too chilly to do to do the work. Okay, we need to get the mower serviced now, and just you know before before the grass starts to grow. Let's let's put it that way. We, I think last year we were late on it and we had cutting to do, but the machine was being fixed. So we'll try to avoid that, uh, that situation. Oh, we've got a leak in the barn roof that's right over the, the fireplace that's in, it's in the barn. So my guess is it's, it's, flash, it's a flash, flashing problem with the chimney there. And uh, we'll get a uh, chimney chimney guy to come come in and uh, take a look at it and fix it. And 
We've got a uh, painter, plaster, uh, who's coming back. He's already checked checked the house, looked looked at all all the rooms and uh, so forth. But the to to do everything, you know, paint the whole, repair all the plaster in the museum, and do all the painting. I think his his quote was. Something like, well, it's about twenty thousand, which I'm not surprised at. I mean, this is this is how how it goes. We don't have that amount of money in this year's budget. Uh, budget. We've got pro- probably uh, about five five thousand that, that we could we could use. So he's coming in, and we're going to identify um, the worst. We could probably do a couple of rooms for that, is my guess. But we want to identify the two worst ones, so he <laughs> tackles those. Rebecca, raising your hand, you know no, what they are? No, I'm the ceiling that's falling above my head. <laughs> that that would be a, probably a good, a good one. Yeah. Probably number one. What was that? I said that's probably number one. That's probably number one. Yes, I think definitely. Probably right. So that that we should get done, but you know, get that going fairly soon. Uh, oh, the the uh, rodent infestation that we're that we're faced with. Uh, we have we have a contract now with Orkin. Um, and their technician was there what, last week, Rebecca. Yes, last Thursday. Last week, and he he installed uh, snap traps and glue boards. I guess mostly in the museum because you've got that covered in the quarters. Yeah, mostly in the museum. He did it. Um... I did have a lot in here anyways, so he just added a few more to spots that he thought rodents might be coming in. Yeah. Um, I think he, he, uh, he was planning, their plan was to put some in the basement too. They did put some snap traps in the basement, but they like put them on stones. So I'm not exactly sure how the mice are supposed to get to said stones that are sticking out of the side of the basement, but they're the professionals, so... <laughs> Well, that's, we're relying on them, and he also, I think, put put a couple outside. Yes, he put two outside. 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 Yeah. Okay. Now, you're going with um, the snap traps and glue boards. The most of the, the several other companies that I contacted, all they wanted to do was use poison, and uh, we we kind of <laughs> felt that. That's the problem with poison in the house is the mice are supposed to go outside to die, but they don't always do that. And then they go and get back in the walls or spaces where you can't get to them and die. And then you've got a bunch of dead dead mice <laughs> uh, smelling up the house and so forth. So the feeling was let's let's go with you know a more uh, uh, a safer route, and that's what or Orkin proposed. And we'll you know they're under contract. They'll come back every two weeks, I believe, or on call if there's a specific issue, and we'll we'll give them the, the three months and see how how it goes. When they came, they said they were only doing a one-time service, and then he'd be back to pick up all of his traps and get any rodents that were left. No, he wasn't under the impression that it was a uh, um. That, that's an not. Track. So I was like, mm, I don't know how much that's going to work. <laughs> um, our 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 new finance director just signed a service agreement that calls for month one installation and then one return trip this month and then two return trips in the next the second second month and the third month 
to three month contract. So he apparently hasn't seen the the contract himself. He didn't he didn't negotiate it. There was, you know, somebody he works works for. They also stuff the holes with copper, like copper steel wool, which I've been doing steel wool everywhere that I can find, but I know we have a lot of holes that need to be stuffed with the steel wool around loops <laughs> and holes in the foundation and a lot. <laughs> okay. Well, hopefully that'll that'll help, you know, to keep keep some of them out. So at any rate, that's the status of that. Uh, that problem. All right, that's that's all I have. Okay, any any other inputs? We so had we, um, we also had the leak in the basement, the leaky wall that we need to figure out who can fix it. Um and the lead plan. Oh, the uh, yeah, thanks. Yeah, the uh, remediation maintenance plan to, to make sure the lead doesn't come back. And we need, I think we need, um, and they offered to help, Ledge Light said they would help us with that. So I need to give uh, give them a call and see when, when she can at least give us a template, you know, for, for, for a plan. Um, Yes, and I talked to them today because I had I finally closed out my tenant side of the, the issues with ledge light. So my part is now done. The kids got retested. They tested under levels. Um, Mark tested at four, but it's still under five, so we're good. Um, so the tenant side of that case, the cases are all closed out now. Okay, good. That's good news. That's good. Okay. All right. Uh, research, Lance. Any any news? Sure. Yeah. Since since our last meeting, um, Missy and Doug and I had a Zoom meeting to talk about our, you know, pushing forward the plan for signage on historic buildings, and you know we're 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 going a couple different directions. We're well, maybe one thing I'll talk about is that um, we were interested in how other towns administer administer programs like this, and I was a little surprised to see that in on the Stonington side of Mystic and in Stonington Borough, the Stonington Historical Society manages it, and they actually charge quite a high fee. They charge five hundred dollars to oh. for someone to sign up to the program where. People at the historical society do research, and then the homeowner gets a plaque. And the new, and, and that's that sounds a lot more like Stonington than Ledyard, maybe. And you know, a friend of ours who's who's dealt with the Mystic uh, signage said, you know, maybe they're a little snooty, and people could brag to each other at parties that they spent five hundred dollars for a sign, especially since we know that the signs themselves cost under a hundred dollars. And New London charges two hundred and fifty dollars. But as part of this, they also offer the services of people who will help the homeowner research the, their house. And I don't know, I, I think that, you know, Missy and Doug and I have really chatted just briefly about this, but I sort of wonder if a plan, um, sort of a compromise between the two, I think in Ledger, you're not gonna get many people willing to spend $500 for a plaque, especially if they know that the plaque itself costs under $100. So I'm wondering if maybe we could offer a plaque to people at a little closer to the actual price of the plaque and offer to assist them a little bit in researching uh, the date of their house, if, if they need such help. I know a lot of the historic buildings have already had a good job of research done by Rusty and Jan Bell and in their publications. So, you know, that, that's something we're, you know, Missy and Doug and I are going to have to just kind of talk about some more and also, you know, welcome input from the other committee members. And, and the, other, the other thing we talked about is that um, I, I sort of imagine, you know, Doug and Missy and I are imagining a, a double barrel program where there are houses that have individual signs for a house and then other signs, which are more like the large sign at Gales Ferry 
landing with a, you know a longer text that explains a public building or a public place, not an historic sign. So th these are the things we've been talking about. And I, I'm, I'm assuming we're gonna have to have another meeting soon to think some more about these things. But again, we welcome any input from other board members you know, now or, or, or later by email later. Okay, you know, um, if, I mean, <laughs> my wife is, has researched a lot of, a lot of homes that went yes. into the books, the yeah. books you know, yes. and um, I'll tell you, if you're, if you're starting from scratch, okay, on a home that people think was built, you know, in 1750, but they don't have much documentation, and you're going back to the original property transaction and tracing it all the way up to this this house, five hundred dollars is a bargain. If if you're going to do all the work, but you yeah. you know, I'm sure, I yeah, understand. I know that. I know that too. I know that too. I, I think um, I agree. I I th I think it's it's the the most of the work with some guidance from us. Uh, I would I would think that the homeowner should take on a good a good good part of that with right. with some you know some some direction guidance on on how to you know how to do it. Um, right. Right. I, I, no, no, I'll oh, go on. Go ahead. Finish. Well, I I was just thinking that you know I I can imagine our guidance taking the form of. This is, you know, turning the question in a slightly different direction. But I, I'm, I'm friends with uh, Tom Kauser, who's on New London Landmarks, and what they did was uh, they got information from the homeowner and helped them try to interpret it. In other words, helping to interpret the documentation that the homeowner has dug up may be our most most useful function. And I got involved in this a little bit. I know something about old houses and. Um, you know, Tom talked to me and asked me my opinion about some things that people were claiming were early 18th century. And I just, as a you know, picture of the house nowadays, looking at the foundation, if it has tall, nicely cut rectangular foundation blocks, it's unlikely from the early 18th century, just because that kind of foundation wasn't often used then. It's more likely, you know, almost Greek revival period. And if the house has Greek revival aspects, Maybe that's your date. So I imagine this sort of you know, helping people to interpret. Although it's funny, I you know you could very soon come up with um, ambiguities and uncertainties, unless the frame of a house is exposed. That can make it very difficult to date if you're talking about when in the 18th century it was built. But anyway, these these are you know, these are, these are you know things that I think can be worked out without any of us. And you know, Missy and Doug are probably more. <clears throat> concerned about this than I because I'm I'm retired. You know, in theory, I have lots of time to to help people if they'd like. But um, I think we'll have to talk about these things much more. And of course, there there are probably well, we know of at least one house that has been researched and is documented mm -hmm. that that uh, Melissa uh, lives 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 in, and so oh, right. there. <clears throat> It's fully, you know, that's that's done <laughs> for that. And there may be others. Uh, if if yeah, if the yeah. house is in any of the historical society books, right? They if they've been researched, okay. Yes. Uh, yes. So those those folks, all they really have to do is pay for a sign, you know, yeah. Yeah. and then they're they're set. Right. Okay. Well, that's that. That sound. That sounds good. Thank. Thank. Thank you. All right. What have we got preservation. Center school. Ken is absent. And uh, social media. Melissa, any? No, I don't have any updates at this time. Hang, hang on on that. No, not yet. Okay. Well, I sh should I men mention. Um, should have probably mentioned it when I went over the uh, the Lester House. 
but uh, I'm going to uh, discontinue being chairman of the uh, Lester House Committee. Um, I just uh, have gotten to the to the point where I have to give some some things up because I just have don't have quite quite the energy and stamina that uh, that I had at one one time. So I asked um, Doug and and Missy, re realizing that many of us were, have full time jobs, and my feeling is. For one person with a full-time job, it's it's a load. It's it's it really is. But I know they are very interested. Have spent, you know, a lot of time and so forth uh, with the, the on the house, especially Doug, who goes back many many years. But but Missy, since she's been on, has really take taken a good good uh, interest in it and and effort. So uh, they would be co-chairs for that for that committee, sharing sharing the responsibility. They know each other well, have worked uh, together in many many different ways. So I I think the the cooperation between them will will be uh, very very smooth and uh, very dedicated. So that's what. My my uh, plan is I've talked or gotten word from most of the committee um, members as as to uh, uh, if they're in favor in you know okay with this. So far, everyone has been. But Jay, uh, I didn't get any. I, I an email. Did are you there? I know. I I saw the I saw the email. Uh, uh, I saw that part of the email late today. I, I have no problem with it. Okay, good. I, I agree. It's a good choice. Okay. Okay. Th thank you. Uh, I also okay. got your email, Ben. <laughs> Are you okay? You, you. I am good with it, but I had questions. That's why I didn't email you back, because I knew I'd see you tonight. It's like, first I have to say thank you for all your hard work. Because we've been through yes, it. Definitely. <laughs> thank, thank, thank you. Thank you. Um, well, I think I think Doug and Missy have you know have to sort of get together and work work out a, f a few things on, um, you know, just just to to do the to, to do the job. So, what does it mean that changes though? What what does it change like? like in the daily running how does that change the things with you know well <laughs> you know well yeah, i i think when uh, you know when you something comes up or you have a question or a problem you'll contact one of them instead of me day to day won't change rebecca it's just whatever you went to vin for you'd come to doug and i for okay and are you guys doing the permits or is that still vin I think that, I, so here's the thing, this just happened yesterday, so I would like to set up some sort of transition meeting with, with Vin and Doug and myself just to cover everything that he has been doing and what we'll be doing going, going forward, and once we have that worked out, we'll share it with you. Thank you, because I was a little shocked today. <laughs> yep, no problem. Okay, okay. All right, great. Um, let's see. All right. This is that time of the year and the month when we elect our officers for the commission. And, um, so I'll, I'm, I'm going to op open it up for, for nominations. Um, hey, Vin. Since we'll start with hey, chair, Vin. chairman. Vin. Yeah. Before you, before you go there, you skipped over old business. I'm sorry. You skipped over if anybody had any uh, old business to discuss. Oh, <laughs> okay, okay. Thank you. I skip. I do that, you know. I just not paying much attention to my agenda here and skip over. Yes, yeah, so any old business that anyone would like to bring up. 
Hearing none, okay, we'll, pass, we'll uh, move on to new business. And the first item there is the uh, election of officers. So I will open it up for nominations for the, the chairman position. I nominate Vin for another term as chairman. I would okay. second that. Is it a second? Lance seconds it. Second that. Okay. Uh, are there any other nominations? Okay, hear, hearing none, then we'll vote on <laughs> the motion to have me serve another year as chairman. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? None? Okay. So that's unanimous. Guess I'm stuck with it for at least another year. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, the next position is the uh, vice vice chairman. Jay is the current vice chairman. So I'll ask for nominations for vice chairman. Nominate Jay. Uh, Lance nominates Jay. Do we have a second? I'll second it. <laughs> okay. Uh, any other nominations? Hearing none, we'll call for a vote. All in favor of Jay for vice chairman, say aye. 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 Opposed? None. Okay, Jay, you've got it. And yep. the, the last position now, <laughs> as the, the clerk, um, and Missy has, has been doing that sort, sort of un, unofficially, uh, and she's been doing a great job at it. So let me ask Missy, would, would, would you, be okay continuing with that and if we make you the official clerk of the commission would that be all right with you sure good thank you. good thank you thank you so can i hear a uh, nom nomination for the clerk i nominate missy to be the clerk jay peeler okay. we have a second I'll second that. Okay, who was that? It was me, Lance. Okay, all right. Um, any other nominations? Okay, hear, hear, hearing none, call a vote. All in favor of Missy for clerk, please say aye. 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 <laughs> Opposed? Okay, Congra congratulations, and th thank you. Um, yeah, the only the, uh, other item on the agenda is, is the uh, budget preparation. And um, got a very late start on this because either I missed something that was sent to me or, or somehow it never never got to got to me. Um, so so uh, the month or so we usually spend put putting it together and you know trying to cross the T's and dot the I's. We've got the rest of this week to do it. I've gotten inputs from uh, Bill and Alan on the sawmill. And uh, um, Rebecca sent, sent me uh, some in, inputs also. I mean, the, the maintenance and operation budget are pretty, most, most of the items are standard, things we just have, have to do, you know, every, every year. So those, those are straight, straightforward. But, um, 
there are there are some uh, some some things that I listed earlier that we probably may, depending on funding that we have this year and how much we can get accomplished, we may have to put uh, some of those off into into next year. And on uh, the capital request part. Um, I, I sent out a uh, couple of ideas, um, and one one was the the, the 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 siding and the window frames on the west side of the house that are so rotted that woodpeckers are making nests nests in the in the window frames. So um, that that needs needs some attention in the not distant future. Uh, and the other is paint, continue painting. We, we, you know, we're not going to get the whole, the whole thing done this year for sure. So we'll continue, try to put additional funds to continue the, 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 the painting. Um, I don't well, know. I have, a, I have a quick question. I, I think I remember you said you were putting in $500 for research. Is that still the way, what we're operating on? Yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah, actually, yes. Um, I'm putting putting in. Uh, it's it's kind of a, a a miscellaneous category that includes the center school and the research. Okay. And last year we put in nine hundred. You know, to be divided between the two, so the budget would be in the yeah, you know, about five hundred dollars is what we put in for research. And there'll be probably another five hundred for the. The center school, but I need to talk to Ken about that to see what what you know what he thinks might be needed. Okay, that's okay. good because that would help with the signage for the public buildings where there wouldn't be a homeowner to 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 pay for it. Yeah, well, if 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 you think you know you got got to the point where where you need you can put a number. On it to to accomplish, you know, whatever whatever it might be. Uh, maybe you're not quite to that point yet, so we can go with maybe uh, not five five hundred. Maybe that's for a little a little down the road. But maybe the following year might have a fairly well defined program and, and approach that might need some funding. Yep. You know, and then yep. we can discuss that. Okay. Okay. Any any other questions on the budget? No. No. Bill, <laughs> Bill, are you there? Yep, I'm okay. here, Ben. I was just looking up um, <laughs> when just, the budget meetings are. I haven't found it yet. There, March. Know, you have to do on the budget. Do you have any uh, words of advice, suggestions, or? Yeah. Can Can you hear me? Okay, so I was just looking up when the budget meetings are. They're in March. Um, I'm trying to find when the historic district is due to present, but I'm still looking. So um, I'll get that to you guys. Um, okay. But no, no, I don't. I don't have any specific recommendations regarding your budget. But now, is is it is it is it true? I've got to talk to the, the finance director. I guess uh, that. The system or software we used last year for for capital is going to be used this year for both, you know, the regular yeah. operating budgets and the capital. Is that true? Yeah. Well, it's uh, we bought some new modules, so it's called ClearGov, and it's supposedly easier to work with. And you you put your but you put your budget together directly in the ClearGov software. And I believe you'll be getting some training on how to use it too. Okay, because it I was wondering if 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 I need to know the, the formats for that system or yeah, you know, so I remember, I remember last year for the well, well the, in, in putting the regular budgets that I think is fairly straight, straightforward. Yeah. It shouldn't be that much different. But for capital, it seemed like the information required was 
somewhat different than what we had done in in the past. Uh, with our was, did, did you do it in Excel or did you do it on the town's software? Yeah, actually, actually it was, to me, it seemed like there was less required or it was easy, it was- maybe. Yeah, so if you, you were probably using ClearGov, if, if you weren't using Excel, you were using the new software and it would be easier. Yeah, and this so, is also to allow, allow the public to kind yep. of pay in and look at- yep. <laughs> well, not, we're not that they ever do, but they can. Yeah, they can. Yeah. Yep. yeah. Okay. All right. Well, thanks. Sure. Sure. And by the way, um, I did go look up who your liaison is, and it's Tim Ryan. I totally missed that. So, mm -hmm. Councillor Ryan is your new liaison. So, mm -hmm. I'll remind him. They sent me the invitation to the meeting, so I don't think Christina knew either. You still love them to join us every every month, Bill. <laughs> I may do that from time to time. I like this group. Okay. All right. Well, unless there's something else, I'll ask for a motion to adjourn. I make a motion we adjourn. Jay? Second. I'll second that. Okay. It's been moved and seconded. Adjourn. Colin, Colin, oh, Rebecca. Sorry, I was muted and I couldn't figure it out. <laughs> I had a question for Bill that we've discussed in the past is because of minimum wage changing with budgeting, do we have to figure that out with the minimum wage increases with the amount I make? because we can't really cut the amount of tasks I do because they just seem to accumulate anyways. But it, do we need to adjust that so that we're not in that minimum wage funny spot that we talked yeah. about years ago? Yeah, for you, I would guess so, but I don't know for sure because you're a contractor. So I think that's a question for Matt Bonin, the new finance director. That is a good question. Yes. All yes. right, well, I, I have to speak with him about a couple of things, so I'll ask him, ask him that, and yeah. see what what we need to do as far as the budget budget goes. It, and then that brings us to the lease part that I still don't have a lease, so we might need to adjust both. You know, you still don't have a lease. I still don't have a lease. It's a month. It's a month to month at this. Point. I don't like it. Oh, oh, okay. It makes okay. things very difficult with trying to do things when we've been through so much with letter remediations to yeah. still have a lease. Yeah. So again, I would I would talk to Matt Bonin about that, the new finance guy. Um, okay. Yeah. Yeah, I'd, I'd start with that, Finn. Talk to Matt. He's, well, he he's very familiar with the town's finances because he used to be our auditor. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. So he's he's worked with, with the finance director, with Marsha, for years. I'm going to say probably six years. So he's, he's very familiar with the town's finances. So I, I would just ask him these questions. That's a big help. Absolutely. Yeah, we're lucky to get him. Yeah. And Marsha's going to stick around and help us with the budget, too. So she's not gone. She's just retired. Yeah, she's going to stick around for the budget. Yep, she's going to help Matt with the budget. Yeah, well, that's good. Yeah. Okay. So, all in favor of adjourning? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Okay, we're adjourned. Thank, thank you all. Adjourned at uh, ten minutes to eight. All right. Okay. Thank you all. Take care. Good night, everybody. Good night. Bye bye. Good night. Thanks. Bye.